Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest provides new video game trailers, reviews, previews, all kinds of fun things, especially on upcoming title releases, things that have created lots of buzz. They do a lot of buzz creating on their own, for that matter. He's the editor-in-chief of GameTrailers.com, Shane Satterfield. Shane, welcome into tomorrow. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's a pleasure. Always fun to get a take of a fellow journalist as well, but especially because you guys are just in the thick of it all the time, especially talking about all the what's new and why we are interested or maybe sometimes not interested right. in certain things. So what, first of all, is, uh, is the thing that's got you most pumped about GDC here this year? Well, GDC is typically a developer-focused show. It's not necessarily set up for journalists to come here and really get sort of elbows deep in, in covering the show. Most of the events that we went to actually happened before the show really kicks off and before the show floor happens. Now, gotcha. Sony has a booth here. Nintendo has a booth. I think Nintendo has two games in their booth, so yeah. their presence in is fact, pretty here, minimal. Here in the Intel exhibit, there, I think there are more games per square inch because there's so much going on here. Yeah than a lot of, as you say, a lot of the other exhibitors have at all, which is kind of interesting. It is, but uh, they, I mean, it's, they do that intentionally. They want to sure. make sure that the people who are interested in making games can come here and network and, and try to find jobs or try to find new technology they can use to make their games. So we totally get it. Yeah. Uh, it's still really fun for me. It's one of my favorite events to come and cover because there are so many developers here, and it's not formal. Everyone's just kind of walking around. You can rub elbows with the guys that make some of the games that you really love. So uh, I enjoy GDC a lot. Um, and the fact, of course, it's not open to the public, so it really right. is only professionals involved and us journalist types that are here to cover what's going on. You mentioned PlayStation with only a couple of games. One of them, of course, their move. Right. And the, the whole idea of doing this, uh, holding this controller with sort of a light-up ping-pong ball at the end, for yeah. lack of a better way to describe it. <laughs> uh, is, do, do you see a future there? Is this something that's going to be interesting or ho-hum? Uh, well, how are you looking at it? They had shown the technology at a couple trade shows before this, so mm -hmm. this wasn't the first time we got to look at it. It was the first time we got to actually play games using it. Um, so there was a lot of anticipation build up to this reveal here at GDC. They had a big press conference on Wednesday night. Uh, I think probably the overall impression of most of the journalists leaving that press conference was that they were maybe a little disappointed. Uh, after we saw what, what they have in store, it was um, it's hard to find a competitive advantage they have over the Wii. Mm. I think everyone's sort of looking for, okay, the, we know what the Wii does. Now these guys are coming into the game really late. What are they going to do that's going to sort of one-up the Wii? And we didn't really see a whole lot of that from, uh, from the move. So you don't see the move as moving in a one-up uh, scenario? No. <laughs> so. um, we're kind of disappointed in that. It has, you know, the Wii's been out for several years now. These guys have had plenty of time to create technology that should be able to trump the Wii. Um, I think it also shows the foresight that Nintendo had. Uh, when they created their product. You know, midstream with the Wii, they added an attachment called the Motion Plus, which gave the Wii remote uh, full 3D tracking. So yeah. it could track one-to-one. -one. It wasn't like that when it first came out. So the Sony's Wave does have that. Um, or Move ha does have that. But it doesn't really do anything extra. It has this thing called augmentation that's kind of cool. So that big ping-pong ball you saw on the top, the camera actually tracks that ping-pong ball, and it will zap objects onto the remote. And then you can see that object in the TV screens. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Yeah, but imagine the ping pong ball being replaced on the TV with screen with, with a sword or a big racket, or right. at one point I saw uh, hair clippers, yeah, <laughs> yeah. one of the games is you're clipping <laughs> rag dolls or something, right. I don't know, whatever it was. So that is one of the things it does that the Wii doesn't do, yeah. but they also had old technology called the PlayStation iToy that kind of did very similar things. So mm -hmm. a lot of the journalists walking out of that press conference, the one thing I heard over and over was they just announced the Wii HD. Yeah, <laughs> oh, good, good, good analogy, though. Yeah, I it's mean, it, cause it basically does the same thing the Wii does, but yeah. obviously the PlayStation 3 hardware is a lot more powerful, so you'll get better visuals with the PS3, but at this point in the game, I think it may be a little too late. I think they need something that really sort of trumps Nintendo's technology more than it does. Do you see Nintendo even being able to trump themselves, a la sort of the Project Natal sort of thing, using the human body as the interface, not holding a device? Uh, do you see that happening? Well, Nintendo always surprises. One thing I've always learned in this industry, over 13 years of covering video games, is when you count Nintendo out, that's when they always deliver. They were 
they had, a, you know, probably eight years of a downturn. They sh- show up with the DS. Everyone's like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Everybody plays it. It's, it's the best-selling sure. console ever. Just kept growing. We yeah. heard about the Wii. No one liked the name. Everyone's like, oh, well, motion controls. I like using a controller. Well, again, they proved everybody wrong. The Wii is a runaway success. It's destroying the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. So one thing I've learned is to never count Nintendo out. Mm, okay, so the plot thickens. Yes, so Stay tuned, as we like to say <laughs> in radio, right? Yeah. What's the must-see trailer of, of all that you've got available at uh, computer uh, game trailer? Trailers.com that we've just got to make sure to catch. Well, last night a trailer for Deus Ex 3 came out. The first Deus Ex is a legendary game in the industry. It was created by Warren Spector. He's one of the luminaries of our industry. Mm-hmm. The second one wasn't that great. It was sort of taken out of his hands. Now the third one, everybody has high hopes for it. So if there was one piece of media that was released at the show, it's definitely a Deus Ex 3. So go to GameTrailers.com and check it out. Absolutely, we will, and our audience hopefully will as well. And in a, in a couple of seconds, where do you see this whole gaming industry headed into tomorrow? What has you pumped? Well, I think the future is removing the interface. Got it. I mean, that's really what it, I think where the industry is headed as a whole. I think we're seeing it now with Sony and Microsoft jumping on the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. Um, as someone who's been playing games my whole life, I don't want to see the interface completely taken away. We need it for, get, for fighting games and things like that. Um, and there is something to be said for sitting on the couch and enjoying a video game. <laughs> but I think you're going to see, as you see the interface taken away, you're going to see new people come into the industry, and you're going to see the industry grow. Nintendo's already done it. That was the first step. I think you're just going to see more and more strides towards that. Well, Shane, we've got to get you on future shows. There's so much more to cover that we barely had time to scratch the surface, but we thank you for joining us here at GDC. GameTrailers.com for more info, and of course, we'll link you there when you hit us up at IntoTomorrow.com. Back with more from San Francisco this week and the Game Developers Conference as Into Tomorrow continues on the Advanced Media Network.